Hey, ladies and gents, welcome. I'm Dr. Isaiah. When I first heard of 22Q syndrome, I didn't quite know what it was. So I had to do some research on what it was and how it takes place in the body. So I wanted to pass that along to you. So what happens? There is this small part of chromosome 22 that is missing. This is a deletion of genetic code. And this is specified at location 22Q11.2, hence the name 22Q. So each person Everybody has two copies of chromosome 22. One is inherited from each parent. One copy of chromosome 22 is missing on a segment that includes an estimated 30 to 40 genes. Many of these genes haven't actually been clearly identified and they aren't well understood yet. The region on chromosome 22 that is deleted is right at the location 22Q11.2 deletion. So a person born with this deletion will have the same genetic makeup However, it can present itself differently. So medical problems that are commonly associated with 22Q, this includes heart murmurs or bluish skin due to poor circulation of oxygen-rich blood. This can result from a heart defect. Uh, this could be poor immune system function, a gap in the roof of the mouth that's called a cleft palate, and other problems with the palate can be coming from this as well. Delayed development with emotional and behavioral problems, Lower levels of calcium in the blood can even be an issue. And then also breathing problems, difficulty feeding, failure to gain weight or GI problems. The severity and number of symptoms a person might have with 22Q, it may be different. But the common theme is that almost everyone who has this deletion will need treatment from specialists in a variety of fields. 22Q 11.2 deletion syndrome this serves as an example of a genetic syndrome that is not easy to manage at all stages, from diagnosing, consulting, to living with. To learn more about 22Q, please check out the details and the citations in the description below, and thank you for watching this video.